Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibboleth Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. And today is Wednesday, August 11th, 2021. And we have 143 days left in the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. I hope that you are playing along with me. Boy, can it be a roller coaster of a game. But you know what? That's okay. If we are focusing on more of him and less of me, some of these things that go on in our minds uh, shouldn't even bother us. So you know how yesterday I mentioned to you that on Monday, I just felt stupid. And why was I not as smart as other people and all that? Well, it continued. It continued into yesterday. I mean, it's just... It's crazy. And then I had a little up uplifting and it was nice. But these thoughts that we can have sometimes, and you know, I've not actually spent much time in my adult life thinking I was stupid. But you, so, so when I recognize that, you know where that's coming from, right? You know where that's coming from. Because if I haven't thought, my, thought that about myself really much before, and then all of a sudden, two days in a row, I'm being bombarded with that. I'm not going to believe that. In fact, I've already been marching on the day this morning with my Revelation song by Newsboys because that's not going to happen again. Um, or, I mean, you know, if it does, I know how to counteract it. And that's what I want us to learn how to do. When you hop on here this morning, please say good morning where you're watching from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. Good morning, Kathy from Michigan, having a perfect day, and Charlene from Michigan, having a perfect day. Good morning, Becky Camp. Good morning, Amy from Ohio, having a wow day today. Uh, Charlene, she says, you're not stupid, you're human. I know, I know, for sure, for sure. Hey, Julie, Julie from Indiana, IMF Day. Um, tonight, we actually start our Bible study, and we don't have any more room in our physical church room to put people. So many people have registered. This is crazy. We have over 200 people registered, not just for our study. We have 48 currently registered for our study, the um, discerning the word of God. We literally have no more room in the actual classroom. They had to sign up for us and they're like, Kim, which one of these ladies are Zoom? I'm like, uh, you know, went through the list. I'm like, these, these ladies are Zoom so that we didn't have to Make sure we had a seat for them. So we still have room for you via Zoom. If you want to go to burnthickory.com, then look up the Bible study, Discerning the Voice of God. We'll start tonight. Tonight's going to be a get to know you night, um, which is going to be fun. And um, I look forward to that. But burnthickory.com and just see that you'll go down to Discerning the Voice of God. You'll see me sitting there in a green islet. I like islet. Y'all like islet? Anybody like islet? Got some white eyelet on today. Um, and you can register. So we have we have room for Zoom people. Good morning, Diane. Good morning from Columbus, Mississippi. I am F Day. Spartan Challenge with Jason. Oatmeal Pie Wow Challenge number two. Trying to get this 2.4 pounds gone and we'll have the last 25 pounds and earn my t-shirt. <laughs> Lost 25 pounds and earned my t-shirt. Congratulations, you're almost there. You're doing it, you're doing it, Diane. Just keep right on going. Do you know the advice I have to give people all the time? We should be eating like this anyway. Because you know what the focus is? And I'm not saying this to you, Diane. I'm saying it from another conversation, but it leads me to talk about it. The, the focus is always the scale. It's always the scale. And I'll say, well... We should be eating like this anyway. So whether the scale tells us what we want to see or not, you know, I've had a nice little streak of perfect days recently, and I'm down a one and a half pounds from my 50 pound badge again, which is really awesome to see uh, when I get there. But I've been two days in a row, you know, just perfect. And like um, yesterday was a 17 hour intermittent fasting, or when I finish it, it's going to be. And I'm like, yay, I should see some half a pound. But it's still the same. Now, on my scale, though, my scale only measures in half pound increments. So I don't get the point twos, the point threes, and all that. But, um, but I mean, look, I've got, 
I got a streak of six. Y'all, that's amazing. I got a streak of six perfect days in maintenance. And so this morning, I, and I even thought this yesterday, I thought, well, Kim, here's where, here's your thought process. If you, there's two things. You can either be patient and continue having perfect days, or you could do something a little radical, like change up your day or, or whatever. You know, I'm really more the, I'm really more the let me be patient person because the let me be patient person will actually teach me how to do this longer. And I, this is for life, right? So I need to know how to do it longer. Hey, Patricia from Marietta having a wow day. Good morning, Cheryl Davis, 16 hour tiger or tiger 16 day in Clarksville, Georgia. Colleen from Michigan, perfect day. Hey, Janice from Ballground, Georgia, it's a perfect day. And Christy is having a perfect day as well. And Michelle, Michelle, good Wednesday morning playing the game of life. Definitely on the roller coaster. Yesterday turned into a holiday. Traveling all week. I am eighth day. Carrollton, Georgia. Gives all the details. I love it. Michelle, I was thinking about you yesterday, actually, when I was having another, oh my goodness, type day. And um, I was thinking about you. So I will continue to think about you and pray that your roller coaster comes to an end. Good morning, Dawn. I got to see Dawn on Monday night in class. It's so awesome. And good morning, Melanie. Melanie, good is I, I, IMF day, another pound down, and 14 pounds to go to 50 pounds. That is awesome. That is awesome. You are getting there. Congratulations. Cheryl is I'm doing two Bible studies. She's teaching one of them. Can't do another, but I would love to do yours too. Oh, I get that. I get that. Yes. Two is plenty. Two is plenty. Hey, Christy, good morning from Buford, Georgia. I just want to thank you so much for sharing this lifestyle with your sweet friend, Alicia. She is precious, and I love her. Um, Melanie, planning on being on Zoom tonight if I get home in time? Yes, and Melanie, it will be recorded if you don't make it by chance. We'd love to have you on there, but if you don't, it's going to be recorded, and it will be on the website, the burnthickery.com website, for 10 days. Otherwise, it goes away. And Wanda, Wanda's having an IMF day in Dalton, Georgia. Good morning. There's Shibby Shop Sherry having an IMF day. Do you know that one of the ways that you could support the Shibboleth ministry is shopping in our store, whether it's in person in Kennesaw, which we love because we're there and we like to support our little store, or online. And do we require anybody to buy anything from us? No, no. But y'all need to think about the fact that we only charge this much to get in and provide so much services. So one way to um, help support the ministry is to offer products. You know, they're not required to be purchased. But if you are so inclined, we would love it. And you can go by and see Shibby Shop Sherry and get some awesome ideas, okay? Hey, good morning, Ron from Lilburn. Having a perfect day. Ooh, there's Rhonda Delaney. Rhonda Delaney from Powder Springs, Georgia. Good morning. Good morning, Kristen. I am F Day Spartan Day with uh, Jason in Kennesaw and Monica from Lawrenceville. I am F Day. Yes, it's amazing, Christy, and I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Hey, June. Good morning from Buford, Georgia. Having a perfect day. Three pounds from the t-shirt and gold. <laughs> Stuck right now in a plateau. Uh, well, let's say this. June, this is how we should be eating anyway. And I would like to get a pound and a half off too. And I'm like, two days looking at the same weight. But we got to we gotta put that patience in. But I know you'll do it. I know you'll do it. It's really for the rest of your life anyway. So you're going you're gonna to get that done. And we can't wait to spin that success spinner for you. Thank you, Diane, for sharing. Y'all, yesterday we had 16 shares. Maybe it's because I was crying. You're like showing everybody this lady crying on there, but we had 16 shares yesterday. The share button is in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. It does help get the uh, the word of Shibboleth out there, and I personally want Shibboleth to be a household name. Hey, Deb, Deb, Deb earned her pink shirt today. Congratulations, Deb. That is awesome. We can't wait to see a picture in that. That's fabulous. I know you've been working on that, so I'm glad you got it. Okay. So, this morning, I had read a couple of devotions, and then I started writing a prayer. I like to pray things back to the Lord from His Word. So, I am on Romans 5, and so I did a little prayer writing from Romans 
five one through nine this morning, and it is really fun, so much fun. It is so much fun to do that. Um, and I, you know, what I was sitting there thinking, I need all the Shibboleth people. Like we can come on to a, we can come on to a Zoom, and we can just all sit there with each other and and pray or write. And I thought, <laughs> I am hashtag Shibboleth obsessed, seriously. But at least it, at least it goes along with hashtag being Jesus obsessed too. Um, hey Susie, good morning. Good morning. But then I was um, reading another devotion. I read two good devotions this morning, but the one that I want to go over today is more of him, less of me. And when I read that, I thought that sure sounds funny. More of him. And we usually want less of us like physically. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Um, and so Elizabeth Elliot, there's a quote from Elizabeth Elliot. In my life, if my life is surrendered to God, all is well. Let me not grab it back as though it were in peril in his hand and would be safer in mine. That was a good quote. It's a very good quote. So surrender. It's a word that many see in a negative light. A surrender occurs when a person or group has been overpowered. While that's a true definition of it, there is more to it. To surrender also means to give up completely or agree to forego, especially in favor of another. When we surrender to Jesus, we have the ability to agree to forego in favor of his purpose. We get to choose to be a part of his eternal game plan. Let me read that again. When we surrender to Jesus, we have the ability to agree to forego in favor of his purpose. We get to choose to be a part of his eternal what? Game plan. Who's the coach? He is. Jeremiah 29, 11 says that his plans are not harmful, but are good. They bring hope and a bright future. But we often hold on to our agenda as we attempt to follow Jesus. We don't want to surrender because we are convinced that our limited vision and wisdom exceeds God's boundless and foolproof strategy. Our full surrender to Jesus usually boils down to one question. How much will be required of me? And the answer is simple everything. In Mark 8, 34 and 35, we read that if we want to be Jesus's disciples and follow him, ooh, do y'all know where this is going? Do y'all know where this is going? We have to deny ourselves and take up our cross. This eating thing is all over that. The Greek word for de deny in Mark chapter 4 is a paranomai. And I hope I pronounced that correctly. And it means to forget one's self and lose sight of one's interest. These two verses are summed up in this way. Deny self and die to self. When we are not just eating for the sake of eating and randomly throwing things in our mouth, we are choosing to die to self because our self wants it. Surrendering to Jesus means setting aside our selfish appetites and allowing him to live through us. It's choosing to trust his faultless plan, even when we can't make sense of it. It's believing that our eternal joy is more pressing than any momentary pleasure. Ooh, wait a minute. It's believing that our eternal joy is more pressing than any momentary pleasure. What's momentary pleasure? Food in the mouth. Food in the mouth is momentary pleasure. And um, I, have, I have joy I have eternal joy now knowing the secrets of Shavuoleth, um, and I've learned to not really care about that momentary pleasure so much. But there's another question that we don't ask, but should. What is a surrendered, what is a life surrendered to Jesus filled with? The answer is the same thing, everything. Do you know that in Shavuoleth, I feel like I have given up some things, but I have everything Technically, I still have everything. Just manage it right. Um, but I have so much more living by the guidelines. I have so much more living by the guidelines. Every spiritual blessing from God is what we get when we stop striving to fulfill our human plans on earth. Yes, trouble will still find its way to our doorstep. Burdens will still leap onto our shoulders. Hardship will still stumble in front of us. But through it all, we get... I'm going to read out these following things that we get, but I want to go back to that. Um, trouble will still find its way to our doorstep. Burdens will still leap onto our shoulders. You know, I feel like a lot of people lately have been leaped on. 
you know, just the different things I hear from members and staff members. A lot of people have been leaped on. And you know what? Shake that stuff off. I mean, get off of me. Talk to it. Get off of me. Do a little shibby shake and get it off. His So this is what we get. His peace that's impenetrable. His joy that's indescribable. His freedom that's unexplainable. His love that's outrageous. His mercy that's generous. His grace that's undeserving. His presence that's soothing. His wisdom that's reassuring. All because we trusted in the plan of the God of the universe instead of our own. So if we want to know how to follow Jesus, we just have to ask, who is leading us? Either Jesus is leading us or we are. Either we choose Jesus or we choose self. It's not complicated to decipher. It's not complicated to decipher. And neither is the Shibboleth shield. Neither is combinations. It's just as not it's just not as easy to accomplish because we want our way. Following Jesus means more of him and less of us. Amen. That is so good. And that is from the Bible Bible app, the YouVersion Bible app. Now, you know, I'm an applier, okay? And the folks that take this Bible study are probably going to hear a lot about applying. This morning, I sat for 10 minutes trying to deal authoritatively with distractions because they come and listen. Listen to the Lord's voice to try to discern the voice, the Lord's voice. But as I was reading this, the part about his peace that's impenetrable, his joy that's indescribable, his freedom that's unexplainable, all of that. I'm going to go and screenshot those. The reason I'm going to screenshot those is because I want to use those when I begin prayer and I am in the praise mode, honor and glory and praise. Those are things that I can say back to him to honor and praise. So I try to keep an ongoing list of those things and those are really, really great. So I'm going to screenshot those right now. Done. See how done that is? And then I'll add it to another little list of things. Okay, let's see. Thank y'all for celebrating with other people. Hey, Julie, good morning from Douglasville. Having a perfect day. Julie's been so dedicated, y'all. So dedicated to learn the lifestyle. And yay, Monica. That's awesome. That's awesome, everybody. Yes, good. Good morning, Gina. Perfect day in coming, Georgia. Yes, shibby shake. Just shake it off. Hashtag shibby shake. Shake it off. That's right. That's right. Awesome, Sherry. Awesome, Sherry. Sherry, just to let you know, I was praying for you last night. Um, Cheryl, post your screenshot shot so we can use it too. Will do. Will do, Cheryl. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to head off for a day. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to march on that day. We're going to do this. Okay. It's boom, 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 boom. And you're riding in the car and you're walking out the door. You know, you're doing all these things. Just have that, have that marching song going, you know, and just march with Jesus. March with Jesus. Let him go before you in everything, okay? So go to your journal. Go directly to your journal. You determine your day. Your day does not determine you. Now, every once in a while, we will have a day that turns into a holiday. We just go back and we edit the journal, okay? Um, and then, if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. And I'm going to say a quick little shout out to Diane Rerody because I don't see her on here yet today, but she's usually with us. So, just wanted to say hey to Diane and Kurt. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you. I appreciate you very, very much. I can see and hear your sweet voice saying that sentence, and it's just music to my ears, Rhonda. All right. I'll see everybody who's doing the Bible study on Zoom tonight, or if you're showing up in person, <laughs> if you happen to be leaving, living near here. I kept telling the lady, I said, well, they live near here, but I'm not sure if they're coming or not. Um, but we're going to have a great time tonight and a great day. Y'all make it a perfect day. No matter what is going on around you, you don't have to go with it, especially in the area of eating because you have do, you do have control over that. You may not have control over many other things, but you've got control over that and we have the answers. Bye, everybody. <laughs>